Today we're going to talk about how to add student comments um, to your gradebook. So here you, you may see this comment column. This is for canned comments and we're not going to be using those. Um, so if you want to add a narrative, double click this little guy right here. Takes a second. And you'll see their picture, um, their scores, and then you'll see this text box. Go ahead and type in what you want to type in. Now there is spell check, so that's an improvement over last year. Uh, and as you can see, you can make things bold, italic, underline. And to go to the next student, just click that orange arrow. And then you can go through all your students that way. Pretty handy. And when you're done, click done. And you can see there's a little N, so there's a narrative. Now, to add a like a re, you know a statement for the whole class, you have to go to the plus portals. You sign in using the same way you would to your gradebook. This is kind of like the replacement for Edline. If you have a student, if you have a student, if you have a child, you can sign in as a parent or you can sign in as staff. We're going to sign in as staff, and here are all your classes will be right up there. Um, down here would be your notifications and alerts. So what I'm, and as you can see, there are links to the gradebook. As long as you're in Safari, this will work. I'm just going to click on my homeroom. Now, when I click on this, some things are going to pop up, obviously. Uh, and the first one is a class summary. And this is what parents will see when they click on your class. So I'm going to click edit here. And as you can see, I can do much of what I've done before. I can even add a hyperlink to a web page. I can add images as long as you know the web address for the image. You can add tables. So it's you can really format it to however you want it to format. And you can update this as often as you like. And then when you're done, click Save. Now let's say you want to send an email to some of you, to your whole class, and you're not using Edmodo, or maybe to all the parents in the class. At the top there, there's email and messages. Go ahead and click that. I'm going to click New Email. And first, it's going to, you're going to see this, which looks like an email, you know. I'm going to click on recipients. I'm going to click on students and parents. Here we go. And then it wants me to pick on like which section or class. So I'm going to click, click on my homeroom. Now you can add them individually by clicking on them, or you can click this box right there. There it is. And it'll select all of them. And then down here, you can select, do you want to send it to the students or the parents or both? So I'm going to do both. And then I'm going to click next. Now what's going to happen is it's going to tell me it'll be sent to those and it'll also show me which parents don't have email addresses. So I'm going to say welcome to DAA and then you can type, you know, whatever it is you want to type. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete that and I'm just going to type in my email address so I can show you what it looks like. Uh, and I've sent it, and when I come to my email, and th there it is. Now the email will say it's come, it'll come from your GEMS email account, not your Google email account. So that's important to know. It's important to check your GEMS email for that. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Hope you enjoy. Thanks. Mm -hmm.